Hi there, welcome to this video. I'm Robo from Essex Transport Training. Today I'm going to talk you through uncoupling and coupling an Arctic vehicle as part of the LGV driver training test. As you know at Essex Transport Training we conduct our own three alphas, the module three alpha, which is the reversing and the uncoupling part of the test. So I'm going to take you through it now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uncouple my vehicle. The examiner or the assessor will say to you, is this form level legal ground? The answer is yes. So the easiest way to remember when you're uncoupling a trailer is the mnemonic black, B-L-A-C-K. So the first thing is brakes, then it's legs down, air lines off, clip undone, kingpin pulled and open. Then that way we can't go wrong. I'm gonna start on B for black. Ensure that your trailer brake is on. Then you're gonna come down to your legs. You're gonna put the legs down. I like to get the legs on the floor and then just a quarter of a turn up in order to stow away my handle. Next thing is air lines. We're just going to call them air lines because it keeps it simple when you're trying to remember what you're doing. I'm going to straddle my cables, electrics, emergency air, undo my camera, my secondary electric, my service brake and my ABS. When they're all out, we're then going to leave the tractor unit in a safe manner as taught by your instructor. Then I'm going to put the wind deflector back into position. So we've done brake, legs, airlines. We're now going to go around and do a clip and the kingpin. So we get in a position where we can see the actual clip. It's effectively a dog clip. We take that out and now we can raise our wire to bring our handle out to open our kingpin. It's now opened up. What I'm going to do now, because I want to be nice and safe with this tractor unit, it's worth a lot of money. I'm going to come off the fifth wheel, four to six inches. Then I'm going to lower my tractor unit so that I can then come off without my spray suppression mud guards hitting any part of my trailer. Like this watch. And I'm going to put my tractor unit down so that my tag actually touches the floor and it will then give me the space between the fifth wheel and the trailer to come out safely. Once I'm happy she's down, I turn the wander lead off and then I get the vehicle down to the right hand side of the trailer.
with no shit to my examiner or assessor, I'm now getting my number plate of the trailer and that completes the uncoupling. If you've passed at this stage, your examiner or assessor will now say to you, okay, I would like you to couple up to this trailer, you've never seen it before. That's the key thing here. You've got to remember, you've never seen this trailer before when you walk around it now and do your pre-check. So I've never seen it before, so I'm going to check it. Trailer brick, definitely on. VTG plate, just double check the plate. Make sure you're aware what each axle can take, etc., etc. Double check that it's all good to go and it is your vehicle's plate. Storage of the hat, arms, handles, tires. Make sure your tires are serviceable. As per the um, law, one millimeter of tread over three quarters of width in a continuous band. No rip bulges or tears, tears, and the tires are definitely inflated. Your wheel nuts are tight and none of them are loose. If you've got markers, make sure they're in the correct position. Do the exact same to the other axle and the other tyres having a good look and a good feel. Everything serviceable, nice. The rear of the trailer, we're going to open that up. We're going to double check that our load is secure. There's no contraband or illegal immigrants in this trailer. Once you take this trailer, it's your responsibility. So please ensure that this is all done correctly. Take your time. Now that I've checked that, I'm happy. Everything looks good to go. It's all nice and safe, nice and secure. I'm now gonna check the offside of the trailer. I'm gonna do the exact same on the offside as I've just done on the near side and the rear. At this point, the examiner will say to you, what are you doing the offside? I'll say the same as the near side and the rear. He or she will then say to you, okay, carry on. When I get told to carry on, I'm gonna take my vehicle up and I'm gonna bring it in straight to the trailer before coupling up. On this one, I use the mnemonic black backwards, K Kalb, K C A L B. Kingpin, clip, airlines, legs, and then brick. Like this watch. point it's imperative that my alignment for the fifth wheel and the kingpin is good and it is going to go in so I'm content that that's quite good and you'll see it in a minute okay and I'm going to get in get my wander lead and put the fifth wheel up to kiss the trailer When I come back this time, that'll be the kingpin, then I'll go back, I'll shunt twice forward, that's kingpin. Then I start going through clip, airlines, legs and brake, like this watch.
when I go back in, I've got to ensure that I go back, I hear it click go in, and then I go forward twice. The tug test is a very important part of this test. If I don't do the two tugs forward, I will not be able to move on and pass the test. And in real life, you might lose a trailer, so make sure you do the tug test quickly. Back, forward twice. Now what I'm doing is I'm gonna level up my tractor unit so that the tractor unit takes the weight of the trailer and not my legs, or else I'll never get the legs up. So we've leveled her off and we're gonna get our gloves on. So I've already said the kingpin is now good to go because we've went back into it and we've went forward twice. I'm now gonna put on my clip. Clips nice and secure. I've got my lines, primary electrics, emergency air, put my camera in. Secondary electrics, service brake, and it's imperative to make sure these are all nice and tidy so they're not going to get all over the place and get in the way, then potentially break. All in, all happy, safer down from the tractor unit. up, trailer brake off, the trailer brake's now off, I'm going to say to my assessor or instructor or examiner, I'm now going to put my number plate on the back of the trailer, could you check my lights for me please, and then as we move off we'll conduct a rolling brake check, so that's twice on the brakes as we move off. So I'd like to thank you for watching today, please if you're ever in any doubt or anything get in touch with us, but the best way to Uncoupler trailers by using the mnemonic black brake, legs, air links, clip kingpin. And the best way to put a trailer back on is black backwards, K cal kingpin, clip, air links, legs, and then brake. Thank you for watching.